Hello, this is Johnny. Uh, today topic is how can we tell if this is Raspberry Pi 4B 4 gigabyte RAM? Because I have no clue if this is a 4 gigabyte. I mean the box say it's a 4 gigabyte. See 4 gigabyte and it say 4B, but inside there's nothing there that say this is a 4 gigabyte uh, RAM. Uh, it only said it's a 4B model. As you can see, it said Raspberry Pi 4B model uh, by 2018, two years ago. And it's made in UK, okay? And some of the part is made from China, as you can see here, okay? And this one is using a, a USB 3. Uh, so this two are USB 3. And the one over here is using USB 2 and the color coding is correct the 2 is the black color one and the 3 is the blue one so you could tell right away based on color if you cannot see the the, the number at the bottom and then this is the uh, RJ45 connection to the Ethernet to the network okay so you have a lot of uh, cool uh, description uh, somebody was talking about that you could look at the back that they have a different model not from here but over here top of the USB that my this is a 4 gig but mine say 2.3 it's not 3.3 so this number is different but it's random it's not this is not where you figure it out uh, where you figure it out is based on the chips on this chips okay and right here if you look close to it my say is a D nine W H V V as in Victor, okay. So bring it more closer. See if we can focus. And I also have a micro uh, local. See the M. And so what I did is I Google search it and see exactly what what RAM do I have okay because this is a new new chips that was added compared to Raspberry Pi B uh, 3B 3B plus this chips here okay so that is the chips is the that tell you what Pi 4B you have is it a 1 gig 2 gig or 4 gig so let's look over here and I'll give you the link where I got this site okay I send this, uh, this is the, the picture I did a screenshot on my phone and he said check that chips over there and here's the description. If you have 4 gig is D, D9WHV as in Victor which is this is what I have. If you have a Z like Zebra you have a 2 gig and if you have something other than D like 4M, 4H you have a 1 gig. So based on looking at this where I'll go See if we can focus this again. My say D nine W H V V as in Victor. Okay, so my is this one H V. So my is four gig. So that's how you tell the different. Uh, how, that's how you tell what you have, and you know, and then. Uh, this is my picture that I took from my uh, my phone and so I do have a D9WHV uh, as in Victor okay and it's a 4B model is a 4 gigabyte so based compare that with that chart this is what I got so that's information to share because uh, nobody have talked about in YouTube and if you want the link you just I got the link here and I'll put that in the description as well but this is where I got the information from. It's from the Raspberry Excel and you go down to talk about the command line you could type to see but then here is the picture that actually tell you uh, how you tell by looking at that. Okay so this video is mainly about that and stay tuned. Uh, I have boot up the Raspberry Pi 3B uh, Plus and directly to the hard drive without creating the SD card brand new built a uh, brand new out of the box from out of the box from a 3B plus 
and I plug it in directly to the hard drive that I already have the image and it boot up just fine so stay tuned for that video I will be talking about that and how to get that done without have to pay $54 or $79 for a micro SD card for 512 uh, gigabyte when you could get a, a terabyte for the same price or actually less $50 $54 for a te one terabyte and then you could do more with it than just a 54 SD card so we're going to be going that will be my next video part two how to install the image what image you should use and why you should use it and we will talk about that in the next video so stay tuned for that and this one is just mainly to cover to tell you how to figure out what kind of because when you get it the box say four gigabyte but how do you know somebody did not accidentally gave you the wrong uh you know wrong uh raspberry pi uh, for B, you know, you pay for four gigabyte, you know, you need to get that for that. So that's just uh, FYI information to share with y'all. And I'm waiting for the video car cable. I hope this one is not defective because last time I tested with the power and plug in the fan, there was no light and the fan wasn't moving. So that kind of got me worried. So I'm waiting for the HDMI cable to come in. Uh, order directly from Amazon. So with Amazon Prime, I should be getting it pretty quick, probably this week, sometime this Friday, and we're going to test this out the same way we test the 3B. Uh, I heard uh, in the past that this thing does not boot up to the hard drive directly because it's still in beta testing. They just recently released a uh, Raspberry, I mean the uh, four point uh, retro. Retro Brain or Retro, yeah, Retro Brain 4.6, uh, the software, the emulator station for Pi 4, okay. The Pi 3 has been out for forever, okay, but Pi 4, they just released the beta version and it, it looked pretty cool, it worked pretty well, but I wonder during that upgrade, do they have the software you could boot up directly to a hard drive without SD card? I know in the past you have to uh, create SD card, boot it up, and then set the configuration to boot to USB and then take the SD card out and then we'll boot to the hard drive. But uh, my other video, I will show you that with Raspberry Pi 3B, not this is 4, the 3B, it will boot up directly to the hard drive without you do anything to it. You just run the image and it boot up. So stay tuned for that. Okay? Alright. Later.